A cross-section of some prominent citizens of Oka community, led by a one-time special advisor to former President Gulag Jonathan on inter-party affairs, Senator Ben Ndiobi, yesterday visited some legacy projects being executed by Governor Chukuma Saludo in Oka, the capital of Anambra State. Among the legacy projects visited by the group were the Saludo Fun City near the Oka Township Stadium, the new government house lodge, where they were conducted around the ongoing projects by the Commissioner for Housing, Mr. Polly Onyeka, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Oka Capital Territory Development Authority, Atta, Mr. Osi Onuko, and his counterparts at the Anambra State West Management Authority, Asoma, Mr. Mike Ozemina. The report. Speaking during the visit, the leader of the delegation, Senator Ndiobi expressed satisfaction with all the efforts of Governor Soludo in transforming Oka into a livable, green and prosperous capital city, describing Professor Soludo as the only governor that remembered Oka since Anambra State was created in 1991. Senator Ndiobi recalled how he met successive governors in Anambra State on how to make Anambra a befitting capital city, but all to no avail. Describing the achievements of Governor Soludo in Anambra State within two years as a monumental, but expressed this course that all the developmental accomplished of the governor are being underreported by the media. Senator Ben Ndiobi, who was accompanied by a former transition committee chairman of Oka South local government area, Mr. Leo Mova, some community chieftains, including Chief Frederick Chiwova and Ken Ekwenugo, we assured Governor Soludo of continued support and prayers of Oka community to his administration. This is the first time that we are indeed experiencing turning capital city into a true capital city. That's true. The contractor handling the project, Mr. Wu, during the tour at the Solution Fund City, said the civil engineering work on the program will be completed around July and thanked the government for giving them the opportunity to showcase their expertise in the state and Oka community for creating an enabling environment for the project execution. At the new government house and lodge, the Commissioner for Housing, Mr. Polly Onyeka, expressed the hope that the ongoing project will be completed by the end of this year and described Governor Soludo as a jeans breaker. Mr. Onyeka told the visiting Oka community stakeholders that Governor Chukuma Soludo has never borrowed any phone since the commencement of all the projects across Anambra State, as he has awarded over 400 kilometers of road and completed already over 250 kilometers, among others, interventions in various sectors of the economy, including health, education, agriculture, among others. But uh, Mr. Governor, being somebody that is known for taking serious challenges decided to challenge this project and you can see that he's already defeating the challenge in a remark the managing director and chief executive officer of Oka capital territory development authority mr oc onuku said that what governor soludo is doing in Oka are enormous and used the opportunity to call on the people of Oka to be at the forefront of the wind of transformation of the soludo administration in anambra state we as Oka, we've never had it this good and we are pleased we are happy we are elated and we are assuring Mr. Governor of our continued support and prayers. Absolutely. The district governor elect of Rotary International District 9142, Nigeria, Professor Austin Nonyelu, also expressed satisfaction with the quality and space of work on all the projects visited.